An admitted serial killer claims responsibility for five Long Island murders, bringing closure for Long Island families who have waited decades for justice. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, it was a day they thought would never come. Decades of emotion in a Nassau courthouse where long sought answers were finally found. How do you plead guilty or not guilty? Good. In stoic succession, sadistic serial killer Richard Cottingham, imprisoned for life for a dozen murders, pled guilty to five more from a New Jersey prison hospital. Yes. The only emotion from his victims' families, the brother of Diane Cusick, a young mother killed on a shopping trip to Green Acres Mall in 1968. I'm sure she tried to fight this animal off. Then, like it was nothing, he strangled the life out of my beautiful sister. I have spent the last 54 years of my life wondering who murdered my mother and why. The breakthrough came in a DNA match in Cusick's murder. Nassau detectives then interviewed Cottingham for hours about murders along Nassau's South Shore in the 60s and 70s. The defendant knew spe specific information about the crime scenes and the crime that only the murderer would know. We are confident that he killed all five of these women. Mary Beth Hines and Laverne Moy killed in 1972. We celebrate justice for Mary Beth, and my heart is full. 33 year old mother Sheila Heyman in her North Woodmere home, her husband suspected for years. Today, we can loudly and clearly state for his children and everyone else to hear that he did not murder his wife. And Maria Nieves dumped near a Jones Beach bus stop. Now 76 Cottingham's grisly crimes are detailed in the Netflix documentary, The Times Square Killer. He's also known as the Torso Killer for mutilating his victims. A computer programmer, a father of three, declined the one chance he had to express remorse. Mr. Cottingham, do you wish to be heard? I would describe him as a werewolf. Uh, for whom every day was a full moon. I think he did things on impulse. The judge called him purely evil, sentencing him to life running consecutively with the 179 years he's already serving. There is no sentence that I can impose that would truly be enough. The DA summed up what most here are feeling. There is no closure. The harm caused by Cottingham spans decades and generations. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Prosecutors do say they originally questioned Cottingham about 13 murders, but were only able to definitively link him to five.